Welcome to Science TV. I'm Olivia. And I'm Amanda. And we are here to teach you about potential and kinetic energy. It's a very exciting and fascinating topic. And now, here is our very own expert to tell you more. Hi, I'm Leah and I will be teaching you about energy. Energy is the ability to do work and it can be found in heat, light, and motion. Two types of energy are called kinetic and potential energy. Potential energy is stored energy. There are five types of potential energy. The first type is chemical energy. Chemical energy is stored in bonds and can be converted into thermal energy. Mechanical energy is tension and is shown in compacted springs and stretched rubber bands. Nuclear energy is held in the nucleus of an atom and is released when the atom is split or joined with another atom. Gravitational energy is energy that is piled up. The higher something is, the more potential energy it has. Electrical energy is stored in a battery and is used to turn on an object. Now, our kinetic energy expert Zoe will tell you about kinetic energy. Hello, I'm Zoe. Kinetic energy is when an object is in motion. There are four types of kinetic energy. The first type is radiant energy, which is when electromagnetic magnetic energy travels in waves. An example is x-rays, gamma rays, and radio waves. The thermal energy is heat and vibration of atoms and molecules in a substance. Uh, light. Hello, I'm Zoe. Kinetic energy is when an object is in motion. There are four types of kinetic energy. The first type is radiant energy, which is when electromagnetic energy travels in waves. An example is gamma rays, x-rays, and radio waves. Thermal energy is heat and the vibration of atoms and molecules in a substance. Light is also an example because it provides the fuel and warmth on Earth. The more vibration there is, the more thermal energy there is. Motion energy is the movement of an object like a car crash or the wind. The faster the movement is, the more thermal energy there is. Sound energy is the movement of energy through a substance when a force causes an object or substance to vibrate. It is transferred through waves. Welcome back. We know you want to learn more about potential and kinetic energy. So, the formula for kinetic energy is 0.5 mv squared. That is measured in joules. And the unit for velocity is meters per second. The potential energy's equation is mass times gravity times height. This is also measured in joules. The gravitational acceleration, which is the gravity of the equation, is 9.8 meters per second. The height above Earth's surface is also always measured in meters. Now let's see some real life examples. Potential energy. Kinetic energy. As Leah climbs up the slide, she is an example of kinetic energy because she is in motion. When she is standing at the top of the slide, she's an example of potential energy. When she's going down the slide, she's an example of kinetic energy again. Hello again. Here's a recap of what we've learned today. Kinetic energy is when an object is moving. Potential energy is when an object is at rest. Ah, uh, sounds good. Thank you for watching Science TV, and we will see you next time.